Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Sasha. You should totally subscribe so you don't miss my new video every week. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm gonna be showing you guys everything you need to know about setting up your home screen in iOS 14. So as you probably know, iOS 14 just came out. It's the newest update on the iPhones and it comes with a bunch of new customization things that you can do to make your home screen super organized and aesthetic and I really like it because I am a super organized person and I love making things look good together so this update just made me super happy so I'm gonna start a screen recording on my phone and I'm gonna go through literally everything that you need to know a little book here of everything I want to talk about so as you can see I'm very passionate about I love organization and anything like that makes things look good. It's just, I love it. So, all right, so I'm just gonna start off by showing you guys my setup on my phone that I have done. So I'm gonna start a screen recording and this is just my lock screen. It's just me and my boyfriend and then I swipe on and this is my first page. So this is like my main page with my date and then like photos, messages, all that. I'll go through all of it after, but this is just the general setup. So that's the first page. Second page is just like a social media type page with stuff that I just click on a lot. And then the last page is kind of apps that I don't use as often, but I still use. And as you can see, I kind of have a theme for each page. So the first one is like peach. The second page is like more neutral tones and the third page is more pink. So yeah, those are my three pages. So now I'm gonna get into the actual details of what you need to do to make your home screens look like this. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do obviously is download iOS 14. So you just go to settings and then you go to general software update and then it should be there and you just press download. Mine took about 40 minutes to download. So once you have iOS 14, you can now do all of the cool things like the widgets and change your apps and everything. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys how to do is download widgets. So those are these date, the big date thing in the top left and that big radiate positivity picture at the bottom, just all those bigger pictures that aren't apps. So you're going to want to go to your app store and then you're going to search up Widgetsmith and it's that first app with the blue square and you're gonna download it. There's also this other one called Color Widgets. It's just kind of like a different style. So you download Widgetsmith and then to make the actual widgets, you're gonna go into the Widgetsmith app. And as you can see, I have all of these widgets. Um, I have small widgets, medium widgets, and one large widget. So the first thing that you're gonna do is press add small widget. So I'm just gonna make a date one because that's one of the small ones that I have. I'll show you how to make a date one and a picture one. So the first one is a date one. You just click it and it'll show you like all these options. You can do time, day, everything. So I'm just gonna choose the day and date one right there. And then you go to font and you choose your font. I like the New York one personally. Then you go to tint color. There's all these tints. I choose the white one and the background color. My favorite one is the pale pink. So that's that. And there's also a border. I don't really use the borders, but you can. Then you go back and press save. And there it is, small number eight. So now all you have to do is go to your home page hold like press and hold the screen press the plus button in the top left scroll all the way down to widget smith and then add widget and then as you can see it that's not the one that i just made so click it go on to the numbers and click number eight which is the one that we just made and there it is the date so now i'm going to make a picture widget so you're going to go back to widget smith i'm going to choose medium widget click on the widget that you just added, click it again, scroll down to custom and then choose photo. Then you're gonna click the selected photo in the bottom, choose photo and then choose whatever photo you want. I'm just gonna do this one again, back and save. And so that's my medium number five. You go back to your home screen, hold it down, press the plus, Scroll down to Widget Smith, add medium widget, you press the widget to change it, and then you press number five, the one we just made, and done. 
and there you go that's how you make the date widget and the picture widget so now i'm going to show you guys how to change your apps like icon into a photo or something cool so as you can see i added a lot of icons to my apps and i'm going to show you guys how to do that as well just first i'm going to show you how to actually change it so i'm going to do my pinterest one first so you're going to want to go to the app shortcuts you're going to press the plus in the top right hand corner and then you're going to press add action then you're going to press scripting open app and then choose and then you're going to search whatever app you want to do i'm going to do pinterest and then you press the three dots next to the new shortcut 43 right there and then you're going to press add to home screen you're going to change the name i'm changing mine to pinterest and then you click the icon right to the left of the name so choose photo and then you choose whatever photo you want i'm just going to choose a random one choose add and then you press done and there it is right there and so there's going to be the original app and the new icon that you made so i just take the original app and then you press remove app and move to app library and if you don't know what the app library is it's basically just this entire section that's not on your home screens so that contains every single app that you have so if you don't use an app often or you just don't want it on your home screen you move it into your app library and it's just out of sight, out of mind. So it's basically like shoving your clothes underneath your bed when you don't want people to see them. It's just, you know, you know what I mean? Okay. So that's how you change your app. Now I'm going to show you guys how I make my apps have the little icons on it. So as you can see, a lot of my apps have little icons on it just because I find it personally easier to look at the icon of the actual app that it is. So I know like what I'm clicking. So to do that, you're going to want to download the app called PixArt. And I know that it, there is a free version, but the version I have, I paid money for because I think it just has more things. So I'm not 100% sure if the free one does this or not, but I'm still going to show you. So you go to the app PixArt, not Pinterest, PixArt. And then you're going to want to press the plus bot button on the bottom and then collages freestyle so i'm just going to do my pinterest icon that i already have i'm just going to remake it so i have a photo here that i want to choose and then i have this other picture it's like a pinterest logo it's just a black pinterest logo on a white screen that's the one that you're going to want to get if you get a transparent one which has like a grid in the background it's not going to work you need to have a white screen so you're going to crop this, your picture, into just like a square format because that's the shape of the app. And then you're going to expand it so it fits the screen. Move that down. Crop this so it's like mostly just the white and the black. And then you're going to want to press this at the bottom corner, the icon blend, and then multiply, and it will take away the white. And then you press the eraser tool and just erase whatever is still in the picture that you don't want. It doesn't really have to be perfect because like it's a really small icon when it's on your home screen. So it's kind of hard to see anyways. And then you just resize it to however you want it. Put it in the middle. Next. And then you save it. So if you were to put that as your app cover you would just add that photo instead of just like the random photo that I chose and then it will look like this. So I know that a lot of people will not want to pay for the Pixar app or you just generally don't really know how to do that. So I'm going to provide you with a link in the description of this YouTube video with a Pinterest board that I have made and added every single picture, widget, icon, everything that I used on my home screens, I've added it into this Pinterest board. So you can access that in the description below if you want. So that is basically all for these customizations. It's pretty easy to do once you get the hang of it, but I do have some organization tips for you guys if you want. My suggestion would be to color code each page. It just makes it look a lot prettier. So 
you just have a color theme for each page i know a lot of people do like a neon theme that's really cool it's just not like my vibe so i didn't want to do that but that would also be interesting. Another organization tip would be to section your widgets in between apps. So as you can see on my page, my apps are kind of like separated and the widgets are in kind of different sections of the page so it doesn't look super like cluttered in one corner and all your apps are at the bottom like you know what i mean and then my third organization tip would be to put anything that you don't use on a daily basis into your app library it seriously is so helpful when it comes to organizing your apps because you don't have that many to do once all of your apps are in the app library and it's so easy to search them like you really don't need them on your home screen Another couple of cool features that iOS 14 has is this double tap feature. So you go to your settings and then you go to accessibility and then you go to touch, scroll all the way down to back tap. So I have my double tap on the back for a screenshot. So if I do this, it takes a screenshot of the picture. I just think that's interesting. You can also do triple tap if you want. So that is everything for today. I hope that that helped you guys in some way. You got some inspiration for how to make your home screens aesthetic and pretty. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment below and I will answer them as best as I can. And yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos every Sunday. This week was a little different because I was very caught up in school and I didn't really have time to post a video on Sunday, but I'm going to get this up today, which is Tuesday. So I'm going to grind, edit it, put it up. And other than that, I post every Sunday. So make sure to subscribe, like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week.